Now at 11, an attack at a park leads police to open fire, the shooting killing a man. This is News 6 at 11 getting results. I'm Ginger Gadsden. Matt and Lisa are off tonight. The scene unfolded near Prospect Park along Prospect Avenue in Coco. News 6's Troy Campbell is live there tonight. Troy. Well, Ginger, Coco police, they cleared this area um, about a half an hour ago. The chief of police says when the officer pulled up, he saw a man attacking a woman with a knife and then opened fire. I briefly spoke with, uh, spoke with, I believe, uh, the mom. It was kind of chaotic when I first got here. Coco's police chief describing the tense moments along Prospect Avenue this evening. Investigators say just after 5 o'clock, an officer responded to the area and saw a man assaulting a woman. Law enforcement says the man was armed with a knife near the pavilion at Prospect Park. Police say the officer shot the man, killing him. You know, this was a tragic event. Anytime somebody loses their life, it's a tragic event for um, the community, for our officer, and, and for us. So, um, you know, I, I, you know our, our thoughts and prayers do go out to uh, the family. A crowd gathering near the intersection, identifying themselves as family and friends of the man killed. A witness tells News 6 he saw his friend get shot by the officer. He did not do anything to hurt the officer. Investigators say the woman attacked suffered non-life-threatening injuries. We want to all come together. We want to work to, um, to get, find out exactly what occurred here tonight. Um, we want to get to the bottom of this. As of now, Coco police have not released the man's name. We did see members of the Florida Department of Law Enforcement out here. Coco police says FDLE will conduct the investigation into the officer involved shooting, which of course is protocol. Live in Coco tonight, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6. Troy, thank you.